To thee we come, O Lord, our God. And now, keeping in the traditional rite, I ask that you recite with me the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault. By my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Turn from evil, evil, and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Glory to the just and ears for their cry. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord have, Lord, have Lord, have Lord, have Lord, have Lord, have mercy. 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 The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you filled us with knowledge and understanding and showed us the difference between good and evil. May we live according to your word see the splendor of your majesty and hear the glory of your voice we ask this in the name of your son jesus christ who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen. let us pray O oh god your will is that all your children should grow in fullness of life we lift to you the ministry of scouting, we offer you thanks for camping to teach us that the world is our great home for study and work, to build character,
for service, to see our responsibility of those in need, for encouragement and genuine patriotism and vital whole faith. Bless the work of scouting in this place and around the world, that through its efforts, the young may, like our Lord, increase in wisdom and in stature, and in favor with you and all people. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. Cheryl, would you proclaim the word? The first reading is a reading from the book of Siraj. If you will, you can keep the commandments and to act faithfully in a ma matter of your own choice. He has placed before you fire and water. Stretch out your hand for whichever you wish. Before a man are life and death and whichever he chooses will be given to him. For great is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and sees everything. His eyes are on those who fear him, and he knows every deed of man. He has not commanded anyone to be ungodly, and he has not given anyone permission to sin. The word of the Lord. The Graduate. No one ex experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God, for God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. If you love me, you will keep, keep my, my commandments. commandments. Second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Yet among the mature we do not impart wisdom, although it is not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to pass away. But we impart a secret and hidden wisdom of God, which God decreed before the ages for our glorification. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. Please stand and hear the word of God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys 
and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take an oath, a false oath but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law, but rather to fulfill it. And I say unto you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, 
Last Sunday, we began to hear of Jesus' Sermon of the Mount, in which he gave us the standards of our faith. He tells us if we do certain things, certain things will happen. And if we do not do certain things, certain things will not happen. And so today, as we begin, in the season of pre-Lent, we first of all realize that things are a little bit different. First of all, we are no longer wearing the green vestments of Epiphany, but rather we are wearing rose color vestments for the next three weeks of the 70, the 60, and the 50 days of celebration before the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As you see, the altars are partially changed to the purple color. When we come for the first Sunday, I should actually say Ash Wednesday, and the first Sunday of Lent, we will see that all the candles will have purple covers, and there will be a frontal covering the Last Supper, and there will also be a purple front on the pulpit designating the Word of God. So like I said, things are a little bit different on this, the first Sunday of pre-Lent. The glory is not said, but rather a track is added. But in keeping with the spirit of the Sermon of the Mount, we hear a continuation of the words of Jesus being delivered shortly after he came out of the wilderness. And again, throughout the entire Sermon of the Mount, which is composed of the Gospel of Matthew from chapter 5 through, verse, or through chapter 7, we will hear again the instructions of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are all disciples of the Lord and just because you hit 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 or even older, God is not finished with you. For the word of God is delivered to us, by which we may grow in stature and understanding through the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and become more aligned as disciples of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There are many things that we hear in today's gospel, many things that are associated with, soci with sociological situations. But the point I want to make today is that Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law or the prophets. We come from a rich heritage, from a rich tradition, we come from what we call the Judeo-Christian tradition. Jesus was a Jew. That's why they called him Rabboni, teacher. Mary and Joseph were from the lineage of David. And throughout their entire lives, they sought righteous living before God as we all should, my brothers and sisters. The gospel of Jesus Christ is not to be cherry-picked. I like this, what Jesus said, and I don't like what Jesus said about that. Jesus, in the end, says, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. The scribes and the Pharisees, they came across to people and face to face they appeared righteous. Read from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 25 how Jesus condemns the Pharisees and the scribes. He says, outwardly you appear one way, but in, inwardly I know who you are. People who seek the Lord has to understand that 
our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ offered himself up on the cross for all of our sins. And that we are all Christians under construction. God is not finished with any single one of us. But he does seek that we seek him. And to ask in his name. And to offer prayer for not only ourselves but for others. We will hear in the next couple of weeks the continuation of the Sermon of the Mount. If we were to take the four Gospels of Jesus Christ, we would start with Jesus' Sermon of the Mount. We have to understand that shortly after Jesus' temptation in the wilderness, being instilled and fired with the Holy Spirit following his baptism. What was one of the first things he did when he went into synagogue? They handed him a roll and he opened up to Isaiah. And he declared, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he hath anointed me. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, if we, whenever we offer prayer to Almighty God through Jesus' name, we acknowledge Jesus as being our teacher, our Messiah, the one who was to come, and our Lord, who through the sacrifice which we will learn during the season of Lent, offers each and every single one of us, if we obey his commandments, what we know as eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. He who pursues justice and kindness will find in life and honor. Father Almighty and Eternal God, this Immaculate Host, which I am worthy servant, offer unto you, my living and true God, for my countless offenses and omissions, for all here present, for all our nation, as well as for all faithful Christians living and dead, and for all humanity, it may be for us a measure and a means to salvation and everlasting life. Amen.
Lord God, you endued us with great dignity and worthiness, and through Jesus Christ, you exalted, renewed, and sanctified us. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we worthily partake of this holy oblation in which our Savior gives himself to be food for mankind, and in the deepest truth he knows himself with them. Through the same Christ our Lord. offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation and your mercy. Look upon your faithful opinion and accept this abortion, praise, petition, and adoration for our sake, and for that of the whole world. Lord, receive us, who bow before us, bow before you in contrition and humility, and grant us a sacrifice to be so offered in your sight, as to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Come and sanctify our mighty turn God and bless the sacrifice, which we have prepared for the Lord, your holy name. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity, redeeming be gracious to me. My foot stands on the level ground in the great congregation. I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memories we honor here on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, as we offer you this sacrifice. Bless our altar with the presence of your Son. May we who receive him be changed in heart and become peaceful, compassionate, humble, and just. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, O God, you who loves your creation and of your goodness sustains the universe. Let us pray for your blessings upon all scouts and their families. May they be renewed and supported with your strength. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son Jesus Christ our Lord. As we begin with this Sunday, the three Sundays of pre-Lent, we ask, dear Lord, that we might ever be faithful unto your word and seek you in our daily lives. And so we join this day with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints in your entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of in the heights, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of in the heights, please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox in Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. May we offer prayers this day for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, and the homeless, all those who are suffering from the coronavirus, and pray for not only them, but their families. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders, and all health care workers. In our deepest prayers, let us pray and, and remember all children who are neglected and abused. May we pray for all abused and neglected animals, for all victims of violence, both here and abroad. May we pray this day as a congregation for peace, peace in Ukraine and other parts around our world. May we offer God our Heavenly Father the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad. And may we remember all our young throughout the Polish National Catholic Church who are involved in the various scouting programs. And may we also offer for one another, for our neighbors and friends. Dear Lord, all who are present here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord, and God Jesus Christ, with your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family. Our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you God, his almighty Father, in giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again lifting his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me.
Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and magnet host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts are always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, who merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, uh, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same. Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Please be seated. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take Jesus away the Jesus sins of the world. Lord, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take Jesus away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign 
forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in all of us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Receive the Lord.
filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And my ashes are going in the ocean. 